conducting to me is an extraordinary opportunity to interact with people on all different levels. First of all, you interact with the composer. You look at the composer's manuscript. If the composer is no longer living, then you have to try to intuit. It's like a detective uh, digging, digging into the implications of the music through the score to try to discover what that conductor was trying to say, uh, that composer was trying to say. Once that conversation has been had, then the goal is to reach out to the players to create a cohesive interpretation that is so compelling that the players bring all of their artistic and musical resources to bear to join that interpretation to create yet another layer of compelling expression which galvanizes the audience. Once that happens, then the energy is in a cycle and the audience, the audience reaction then uh, energizes the players and we have an extraordinary human exchange. That's why I love to conduct. And why do I love to conduct the MCO uh, in particular? The opportunity to work with such great players uh, on such important pieces like the Soldier's, Ch Soldier's Tale or the Bart Bartok Music for Strings, Percussion and Celesta, those pieces are incredibly powerful in their condensed and articulate format. The chamber orchestra format is, is, um, is unrelenting. It doesn't allow for just the bombast that can happen sometimes with the larger forces. So that this distillation of energy and uh, color and texture uh, creates uh, enormous opportunities for the composers and then for the performers to make important statements. And I think that the chamber orchestra is c capable of, of doing all of that and more. So it's a great honor for me to work with these players on projects like the chamber orchestra um, is attempting to do.